co-host. What is up, K Cool Man? Man, trying to get some quality time in you. Oh, yeah. in, in you. Oh, <laughs> with you. What? Be, before I have to I leave. Hope you got, I hope you brought a lot of money, you pervert. <laughs> it's the only way I'm doing this. It's the only way you get any kind don't, of quality. I don't, don't need no money. Don't need no money to rock your world. I brought, oh. brought plenty of, of WD-40. All right, now you're scaring me. All right, all right, all right. Enough of that talk. Hey, man. What the hell's going on, Corey? Trying, trying to get a show in what before is up? I have to go to I, Amsterdam, man. That's right. You're taking yeah. off, huh? Yeah, but you know what? I'm still going to keep up with you. I'm going to give you a call while I'm over there. Don't uh, think you... Oh, you bastard. Hey, man. Well, you're going to call me and let me know how, how much of a great time you're fucking having? <laughs> the saga has to continue. Thanks a lot, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Some saga ain't happening over here. I guarantee you that. Shit. I, I'll send you... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll, uh, I'll Don't send, send me you, nothing, all right? Send me a Danish muffin when I'm over there. <laughs> <laughs> send me some dirty mags in different languages, I guess. And, oh, uh, you but know, you're going to Amsterdam. Yeah, this. yeah, I'm going, uh, going over there. It's all there. English over there. You send you a pair of Dutch shoes while there I'm over you there. Go. There put, you go. Put on top of your head. Yeah, send me some uh, of the fans, some of our female fans over there. Send, send me some of their underwear. How's that? I, I, you know what? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure uh, Noah, Pade, Pade Do, would love to send you up about five pairs. I already got 12 pairs. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. She yeah, didn't give me any. That was the first thing she gave me. She's holding it back. I was like, God, wow. Damn. Man, you're really perverted. I like you. Man, is that, <laughs> is that what that tent was you had put together as yeah, of panties? Yeah, that's, that's how I built my new fort. Isn't that cool? <laughs> a panty fort? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the original Where the Wild Things Are started. Right there. <laughs> and Noah's, stole it from me. The wild Things Gonna Start at Noah's Pants? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now she's about to get mad. She's going to be mad at me when I get over there. <laughs> yeah, people, I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks, but we are still going to have shows and recordings and reviews, mm-hmm. all kind of stuff. Via uh, Skype, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, at least yeah. some of them. Uh, a couple of days from now. Yeah, a couple of them will be yeah. on Skype. Uh, mm-hmm. That's just how it's going to have to be. Right. Uh, yeah, October 17th is when the party's going to be. So we'll get to meet some of the spill people from, uh, 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 I think, the, the, the Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. I think some from Poland. Yeah. Dumb Polacks, <laughs> Euro, Euro Slavia, yeah, all that stuff. I think we, I think uh, Borat's gonna be there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be all right, man. No, a lot, few people from uh, London gonna show up. Yeah, so it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be kind of cool. Tell we'll all those kids I said hello, you sons of bitches. Sons I hope you have bitches. fun. Get drunk, <laughs> get drunk and puke all over Corey. Your man Travis Pickle's gonna be there. N- yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard I last heard. week. So good for him, man. man Shit, man, make me kind of nervous. Uh, uh, Noah told me. Uh, uh, Travis wants to talk business with you. Uh-oh. Got me thinking like, I'm going to see the Godfather or something. He's going to give you an offer you can't refuse. Can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So Good luck you, with that. You know what? Uh, mm-hmm. You brought in some stuff today. Yes, I you did. You gave us some inspiration for a lot of good things on the show. Damn right. I have to. Now, in addition to me having to go out of town and packing everything, uh-huh. we got to move some furniture around here because we got a little leak over your head. We gotta, <laughs> oh, we, shit. So we might not have to, we might not have one of these two and a half hour, three hour, ten hour no. epic shows. Yeah, we got to. Unfortunately not. Sorry, yeah. kids. Just yeah, we got to We got to get things going. But in, in, in the middle of all that, mm-hmm. uh, I, you, you said that there were uh, some things that you want to talk about that dealt with uh, some very serious subjects. Here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I think they're kind of funny, but maybe they're serious to you. Man, you know, know they're going to get serious. You know, <laughs> because they, they were, they, you brought up one thing, uh-huh. and then it was funny because I said, well, that really mm-hmm. coincides with something that I want to bring up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as you and I start talking about it, you know, we were crazy at first. Look at yeah. this. They were like, oh, but wait a minute. You know, no, I know. A very, <laughs> very topical here. Very serious. <laughs> yes. And, it's time um, to get serious. Time to educate the people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're trying to give them our bullshit version of education. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So we're going to try to uh, we're going to we're going to explain a few things about us, and hopefully shed some 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 light on mm. the issues. Yes, people on the issues of race, but there have of been course. a lot of racial things that have been <laughs> happening, and we want to let people uh, kind of we want to let people not only know about how. Uh, the, the, you know, two people who are mm-hmm. non-white people. I'm a black man and you are a robot. You yes. Know, you are the shiny persuasion. I am. <laughs> yeah. And so we, we want to kind of let people know how we feel about those kind of things without being inflammatory or hopefully not inciting more anger. I hope people. not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, cause, cause that's what happens. You I'm gotta, too busy to deal with anger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your answer is going to be anyway. Don't tell me about your problems. Yeah. You're black. Don't tell me about your problems. <laughs> Oh man, that sounds like a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> if anything's going to cite racial issues, it's going to be you. Yeah, good You're luck. To, good luck to you in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, have fun being black. <laughs> so up there throwing a bucket of chicken, yeah. chicken at some black people. Don't tell me the problems. <laughs> Make the most out of it, like Corey. <laughs> <laughs> when life gives you lemons, fry it and make some fried chicken. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> man uh, so yeah we we just kind of want to uh tell people about not only the race issues that happen out there but yeah. also how we approach race here on the site on yeah the at least show. we try to yeah because yeah, yeah. we we think that we do it in a way that we kind of approach the stereotypes and what well, you know what fuck it we'll get into we'll, it we'll talk yeah, about what am I? I'm, get I'm already getting, I'm already getting serious right now. I can hear, I can, <laughs> you're I'm getting so to, passionate I'm already I'm starting to preach right I now I see your hands like waving like you're, 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 you're brothers and sisters you're, you're conducting an orchestra or something you're back to playing like, an organ <laughs> yeah, yeah. brothers and sisters like, oh, let me get out the big ass soapbox for Corey <laughs> <laughs> today I'd like to talk yes. to you about race <laughs> let me drag it out with the ball and chain I know you're trying to get me to shut up I want to let the white people no, 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 Colton. Shut up. Enough is too much. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about that. We also want to talk about mm -hmm. some of the trends that are happening today mm -hmm. with the shaky cam genre. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it becoming a genre? Is it something that people can continue to do? Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm bringing it up mm -hmm. is because right when you think that you know what mm -hmm. kind of kicked this whole thing off, you uh -huh. discover something else. Uh huh. Where the where people had the same idea that predated all that stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and and normally we've seen it done with ghost and the supernatural. Mm -hmm. There's some there's been some exceptions, but you yeah. have a project that you found that was done differently. Yes, and we're gonna bring that up too. Look at you, I'm, man, I'm coming in here with an agenda. I ha hey, I have to I have for the kids. Got to give them something to think about. Uh, speaking of race, uh, we actually have a, re uh, a sighting. Speaking of, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no. speaking of sightings uh, uh, of what? Speaking of uh, 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 sightings of mysterious things, uh -huh. we actually have sightings mm -hmm. of a white person going crazy behind fried chicken. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I, I didn't get to see that video, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you caught that. So yeah, no, it's, I, I have no idea how crazy the, that's going to end up being, but I'm looking forward to it. It, it is. There's there's like a lot of things out there yeah. there's a, i don't even know if this man exists there's oh, really? a there there's a Loch Ness monster there's bit bit <laughs> there's a big white man who went crazy behind chicken <laughs> in the middle of pu out in public so <laughs> God damn. are you sure it wasn't the ghost of colonel sanders <laughs> <laughs> what y'all doing to my chicken <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> this is not my original chicken vision my babies <laughs> you actually have white people fried chicken back here <laughs> it wouldn't be like that on my plantation <laughs> this is not good business my friend <laughs> 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 what the hell happened to my buckets? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> grilled chicken? What, what the what? fuck? You Not on my watch. Chicken? How dare you? <laughs> damn, damn. But can you? I, I. It's funny because I like uh -huh. the idea of them grilling chicken. Oh, I love. Yeah, but it, I love it. Variety. That's what we it, all no, want, no, right? I know they're trying to be healthier. But of when I heard about this the, country needs it, let me tell you. No, oh yeah, no, no. They, this, if anybody needs yeah. it, this fat ass country right here <laughs> eating fucking fried chicken like oh, chicken mm -hmm. between two slices of chicken, <laughs> and and it's called a sandwich. Oh yeah, how fucking ridiculous! No, uh, <laughs> how how ridiculous is a fucking hamburger served on two goddamn crispy uh, don crispy cream donuts? What the fuck was is that all about? <laughs> Please, before we get started, people, I I do we we joke about fried chicken all the time, but. <laughs> This, this uh, 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 welcome to do, let's do this. Everybody, yes, by the way. welcome to yeah fried fried. Let's do this a fried <laughs> fried edition of let's a, do a this very extra crispy <laughs> edition of let's do this. Listen, it's getting ridiculous. All right, mm -hmm. I mean I it's know been ridiculous. it's been ridiculous. It's been yeah. it's been ridiculous. Uh, fast food. The more that we try to become healthy. The more somebody out there says, yeah. I'm going to get as unhealthy as yeah, I can I possibly get with something out there. I, I'm going to kill people no matter what. Shit. I mean, maybe it's a balance. Maybe we don't want people that healthy. Hey, you know what? Uh, th th there has to be a balance. And of course, yeah, there, there are always those guys who have to fuck things up. People who try to stop war and people who keep on fucking <laughs> buying the missiles and selling them to other countries that don't fucking need them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like, it, for every time somebody tries to do peace or save lives, yeah. it's going to be another force out yeah. there that's going to destroy Someone the fuck out there waiting to fuck up your good time it's like <laughs> all right you know what the world could even reach a point where we have a golden age mm -hmm. and everybody has perfect health care people mm -hmm. living to a hundred and mm -hmm. everybody's getting along yeah. mother nature's gonna come in and say it's too many motherfuckers here oh yeah virus yeah <laughs> <You know? laughs> tsunami Disease, yeah, <laughs> tsunami <laughs> Polar ice caps melting. Take all you motherfuckers Gotta shake out. off these fleas <laughs> <laughs> so now i believe like there's the, the the circle of life is kicked into fast oh, yeah. food now. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if half of these uh, 
corporations, these these food corporations, are, are doing this on purpose only to thin out the population. You know, because uh, I mean, they, hey, they, yeah. they they have to. I mean, they're gonna run out of food. When you run out of food, there ain't gonna be no more money to be made. Oh yeah, so you fuck. We're all fucked. Yeah. No, they they they. they <laughs> <laughs> these fools out here. Yeah. They, I think they got approval from the government. Oh yeah, you have to to, like, to put anything on that to, menu. You have to, you have to get approval from somebody. Oh yeah, Colonel Sanders, or Colonel somebody, Ronald McDonald. Like that shit, uh, that Krispy Kreme donut. Mm-hmm. I think that shit was like on like like they actually had a government meeting. Yeah, where it was like secret weapon X. Right. Uh, <laughs> people, I propose that the, the the world's population is getting too big. Mm-hmm. We can't come out and stop people from having babies. It would be an mm-hmm. uproar. We can't limit yes. people on how many kids they have. Have you, have you looked at these fucking kids when they're popping out of these vaginas? I, I know. Fucking looking like Shamu? I know. Fucking with diapers? <laughs> fucking kids coming out with a hamburger already in their hand. <laughs> no shit. And people are already saying, you know, what this kid, people looking at the embryo on the, on the mm-hmm. side of the ground like, yeah. that, that motherfucker got a Big Mac? What the <laughs> <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> 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 Is that the head? No, fucking, it's a quarter pounder. Fucking babies are walking out of their mother's vaginas holding uh, two, two fucking Happy Meals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kids. <laughs> Coming out crying, talking about where's yeah. the dipping sauce? And, and they, they don't even want the fucking toys anymore. They want more fries. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, kid looking at Happy Meal. What yeah. the fuck is this? It's like why is this? Why is this shit super sad, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> shit, I got it. You, you put a fucking plastic toy in here. Do you know how much more fries they could put in here? Yeah, fuck your toy. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with yeah. that. How Give about me some a, more fries, how bitch? How about a fucking apple pie pie, motherfucker? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Get, I can't eat this shit. Yeah. Or maybe I can. <laughs> put no salt in this shit. No, the government is looking at me and they say, we can't tell people that they can't have children. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we have to introduce a secret weapon that would actually make people unhealthy, mm-hmm. kill them, yeah, but it has to be delicious. And that'd be called the extra value. <laughs> yeah, the extra value <laughs> called super size. No, yeah. It open up the screen, comes down, and it's yeah. like, gentlemen, I present to you a hamburger, <laughs> yeah. but not with regular buns. <laughs> two Krispy Kreme donuts, not yeah. cut in half, but two whole Krispy Kreme donuts. Right. Beef, <laughs> bacon. Yeah, more beef. Cheese. More bacon. <laughs> smothered in onions. What about the lettuce? Smothered in ham. Fuck the lettuce. Fuck the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> so they just pull out a gun and shoot that guy. Yeah. Oh, sir, what about vegetables? Yeah. What about <laughs> 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 Anybody else? Anybody else have a question about fucking vegetables? Yeah, anybody want some apples? <laughs> anybody want some fruit? You're going to be sleeping with the vegetables <laughs> after this meeting if you keep asking stupid questions. <laughs> now, where was I? <laughs> yes. Well, sir, how do we present this to the public? It'll, it'll, it'll <laughs> shock people. No, yeah. no, we present it in a cartoon show. Exactly. The boondocks. We make it funny at yes. first. And then someone is going to be crazy enough to try it. <laughs> yeah. The blame will not be on us. Oh. It will be on that guy. It's going to be plenty of mouths of water in that night. <laughs> <laughs> Seven o'clock, set your watches. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what they did on the Boondocks. They had an episode. Right, now, if you man. don't remember the Boondocks, or if you don't know what that is, a show that, well, it was a comic strip at first. Mm-hmm. And it was very controversial because, speaking of race, it, it mm-hmm. tackled race issues just boldly. Right. It was, it, I'm amazed that that, sh- that that comic strip got picked up in some papers that it mm-hmm. did. Some people even dropped it. Yeah. It dealt with uh, two kids who went to who went to live with their, their grandfather, two black kids, mm-hmm. who went to live with their grandfather in uh, a suburban neighborhood, which is called the Boondocks. Yeah. It's slang, the, uh, suburban white neighborhoods, uh, the bo- Boondocks is the uh, slang for that. Mm-hmm. So one of the kids is the youngest one, named Riley, is like this little gangster wannabe. Right. Just ignorant. Mm-hmm. Just stupid. And then... Ignorant. Yeah, ignorant. Ignorant. <laughs> and then the older kid, Huey... Is the the epitome of black consciousness? I mean, almost to the point of being militant. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a, he's out. He's smart. He's out there. Wants he wants to, to educate the black man. Yeah, and you can just imagine these two kids in the middle of a white neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> you know, the shenanigans. The shenanigans are going to happen there. Yeah. So <laughs> they took that show, put it on Adult Swim, the Cartoon Network's uh, lineup of adult oriented yeah. cartoons and TV shows, not live action. And on one episode. They'd want to deal with the the issue of the diet of black people because let's mm-hmm. face it, de- black people eat some nasty shit. Oh no, they got the worst shit to fucking put in their yeah st- stuff in their their cornholes with no. <laughs> cornholes. Damn, <laughs> when well, you can't when well, you can't stuff in the morning in your mouth, you just stuff it up your ass. Go in both ways. No man, fried feet, fr- fried, fried, fried feet, feet, pig feet. <laughs> well, they actually addressed that in in and see, it was a really smart episode. It uh-huh. was very funny. That's, right. When the show is good. 
at, at its best, it addresses mm-hmm. issues that people are scared to bring up or right. don't know about. Mm-hmm. And it's actually very funny. So they came up with an episode where Grandpa uh, made a he made that that hamburger. Yeah, the two Krispy Kreme donuts, the the, the mm-hmm. ham, bacon, beef, <laughs> and onions, all kinds yeah. of shit. And it was so good that his white neighbor, who's voiced by Ed Asner, yeah. Uh, named Wansler, who's a big corporate guy, mm-hmm. came up and said, you know, we should make a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Why well, he sounds like Al Pacino, I don't know. <laughs> but they said, we should make a restaurant, soul food restaurant, and this will be yeah. a big hit. So he makes that sandwich, and it's mm-hmm. called The Luther. The Luther. <laughs> and if anybody knows, Luther the Vandross died uh-huh. when he, he was, I guess he was overweight <laughs> when that brother died. <laughs> yeah. Luther uh, Vandross. I, I, I don't think sandwich. it was over a broken heart. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after he dropped his sandwich on the ground. <laughs> Corner. But, so the, and the whole episode dealt with you can't serve this to a neighborhood of people because it almost turned people into crackheads. It's like yeah. they, they addressed how fast food is addictive. Oh, yeah. Fast food is made too convenient. Mm hmm. Uh, fast food should be treated almost like a drug and then they explain mm-hmm. why black people eat the kind of shit that they do which goes back to slave days where black people were given yeah. like when, when white people took all the good food yeah. like they just threw the rest up to black <laughs> yeah. people like they took like they like take all the nice bacon and the ham from mm-hmm. the pig and just give people like the, the, the fucking uh, 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 what do you call it uh the god damn it! What? Wait, wait, you you get you get all the 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 leftovers. You got all the leftovers. The, the chum. You get yeah. You get <laughs> from the chum. That food. <laughs> like they're feeding food. Yeah, you get the you we get got the crow's feet. So what? The, <laughs> if you look at history, what they say is is that black people were given mm-hmm. the head, the feet. Yeah. The tongue and, and the intestines and the <laughs> yeah. tongue yeah, everything is, and the intestines and the yeah. ass yeah <laughs> and so that means that what do you get from that mm-hmm. you get head cheese you get right. pig tongue you get yeah. pig's feet pig's feet yeah you get you get a rump roast <laughs> yeah and then you get chitlins and chitlins I still don't know what the fuck chitlins, chitlins are <laughs> is pig intestines okay and we eat that every New Year's at my house. Yeah. With well. black eyed peas, we eat chitlins, black eyed peas, and when you, you and there was a time I hated chitlins, but uh-huh. when you raised on it, man, you you you, you eventually you, you, you your genetics will kick in at some point. And the reason why black yeah. people love hot sauce uh-huh. is because we have to drown chitlins yeah. in <laughs> to eat it. <laughs> yeah. You have to kill the taste. <laughs> yeah. But somebody actually went. Uh-huh. And made that fucking hamburger, man. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And now I'm not gonna even make it a race issue, like it's right. a black thing. There'll be no, no, plenty no. of people, no matter what you oh, yeah. are, who would love to eat that shit. Oh yeah, well I think there's also like a group of like food daredevils who love eating that shit. You know, they'll go and they'll videotape and they'll put it on YouTube and they're like, I actually bought it and I bought three of them. Now watch me eat all of them. You oh, know, yeah. and they did. Uh, guys were doing that with those. Uh, I think it was like the man versus food. No, well, I'm talking about the people who'd go and, and, and record this shit. Uh, a bunch of guys did that uh, on uh, YouTube with the uh, Burger King mm-hmm. double stacker. Mm, yeah. Where you can stack it as high as you want. And some guys like went out of their way and really did it. And I don't know what they're, I don't know what the point or, or how cool they were trying to be with that. But yeah, you see these motherfuckers make these ridiculous fucking sandwiches, these skyscrapers, and attempt to eat that shit. How do you, you know? even fit that in your mouth? The fuck if I know? <laughs> you asking me like I should know? You're be sucking I'm, a lot of dicks, I guess. Besides, a lot of hot dog. Open up, say ah, motherfucker. No, man, but it was it was retarded, and uh, I thought that those are the only people buying that shit. So. Well, not today, because you have places where fast food is trying to become healthy, and it, mm-hmm. it's starting out. On sort of a micro level, grassroots level, like here in Austin, we have a couple of fast food places, but mm-hmm. they're they what they serve are healthy alternatives. Uh, mm-hmm. Like we have a place called Baby Greens, mm-hmm. and have you been there? Yeah, I, I eat there a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you go there, and a lot of the stuff is served fresh. It's hard. Right. I don't think they have any. I don't think they have any beef on the menu. Mm-hmm. There's, there's some chicken. Yeah. It's probably that free Roman chicken shit and a Tof- lot of tofu probably. Not to- it's a lot of tofu, a lot yeah. of lot of lettuce, a lot of vegetables. <laughs> and pe- a lot of the shit nobody wants. A lot of the shit nobody <laughs> wants, but people should be eating. I'm not gonna come down yeah, on some right. little self righteous rant here. It's mm-hmm. like but it, it it's become an attack on like people's manhood. It's become an attack right. on people's oh, sensitivities. Yeah. It's like Burger King actually had a campaign for a while where they uh-huh. were talking about 
you know, fuck this girl food. I mean, yeah. commercial, they were saying it as like, I don't want, I don't want lettuce and broccoli. Yeah. I want man food. Right. And it was it well, pretty much, you know, the commercial should have been like, I don't want this bitch food. Eat a hamburger, faggot. <laughs> yeah. Eat a hamburger. Sure, yeah. thanks. What are you, a faggot? Eat <laughs> no, a hamburger. Me a faggot. Yeah, that's what they I were better. doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God knows Wikipedia is calling me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about that uh, too. Yeah, oh, no. we got to talk about okay, that. Okay, we will. Oh, uh, thank worry. you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, that's why I brought it up. Because uh, <laughs> so, somebody else is going to remind us. I know. <laughs> in the comments how come you didn't talk about that i just but, want to anyway. read to how the wikipedia entry went <laughs> okay. but people get off of this look it's, yeah, it's, yeah. there's nothing uh, today mm. to counter like the healthy places that people are opening like all these uh little places that are open up with microbiotic diets and right. stuff like that mm. people have just said fuck it i'm gonna counter attack yeah we're gonna make a hamburger and this is real now people are oh, not, yeah. people are substituting buns with meat yeah i mean people are and, making sandwiches you know with meat you're like, and all you can think about is like wow how come how come nobody did that like 20 years ago? <laughs> you know? we, were, we were still eating bad, but I know. nobody just thought, hey, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's just make a fucking shit. a big ass fucking burger with nothing but burger. <laughs> they can okay. even like shape the burger into like lettuce and tomatoes and, you know, <laughs> have fun with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> have like little little pickle shaped <laughs> fucking things of meat. You know, you know that's just gonna like be cookie like, cutter. Like, yeah. like use use hamburger beef. Get like a cookie cutter of like lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and just make all that shit with beef. Wow, there goes my fucking idea right there out the window. God damn, you know somebody's gonna steal that shit tomorrow. It's gonna be sons of bitches. They yeah. gonna make a real fucking play doh factory. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get different. Yeah. It's all going to be in different colors, but it's all going to be beef. Exactly. The worst beef. Yeah. That's just going to be like cut out to sh- be shaped and pressed in a mold to like <laughs> yeah. tomatoes. Right. Pressed in a mold to look like buns. Yeah. Pressed in a mold like pickles, like I, you I, say. I think they already have it. I think it's called Lunchables. Lunchables. Think- <laughs> and it's just going to look like a hamburger yeah. with, with like bread and vegetables, yeah. but it's all going to be meat. meat. All meat. All yeah. Even your tomato sauce. Yeah. And, and, I mean, your, your ketchup's going to be meat. Yeah. It's going to be the blood of animals and shit. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll, they'll have it on the package, not for fags. <laughs> and that's what it's going to be. It's going to come with the commercial. Yeah. Eating that faggoty <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Eat a hamburger. You know they come in with yeah, <laughs> uh, fucking, fucking big ass fucking guy with, with a fucking burger, yeah. which is just a big old pile of meat on what, one hand and a fucking hot chick with big tits on the other. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey sissy, still yeah. eating vegetables? Yeah. Well, put that broccoli down. Be a man and eat a hamburger, <laughs> yeah. faggot. Made out of real meat. Chicks fuck guys who eat beef. <laughs> and the fucking and the guy they're yelling at looks like a little fat version of Waldo. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You want to fuck hot chicks? Ooh. Eat beef, <laughs> yeah. faggot. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you, think I, you think I got chicks like this eating like you, you homo? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, <laughs> here, here, put this on for a hat. It's like yeah. a hamburger hat. <laughs> want to look like this guy? Yeah, <laughs> some little skinny guy nibbling on a piece yeah. of grass. <laughs> Then don't oh, eat beef, yeah. you fucking fag. Beef in your face. I'll kick your fucking ass. You don't yeah. eat this fucking beef. I shove this beef down your throat. <laughs> Just guys are all pumped up on yeah. fucking. All right, uh, what do you call it? Uh, steroids and shit. Yeah. Fucking eat this. I'll yeah. kill you, you fucking faggot. <laughs> Snapping the beef and have a fucking big guy just fucking shoveling fucking beef down a kid's throat, and then when he's done, he turns into He Man, yeah. tearing tear a guy in half. Yeah. You fucking eating, you fucking fucking, you fucking 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 fucking. Anyway, guys, all right, oh boy, beef is what's for dinner. All right, there you go. That'll be the end of it. <laughs> all right, people. All, all right. right. We'll tell you what this is going to be yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave you we a long, about that. preachy intro here. Yeah. Eat some vegetables, yeah. goddammit. <laughs> fucking fat people out there. Eat your carrots. Eat your carrots. <laughs> so, all right, people. We sit up here and give ourselves a heart attack. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> talking too goddamn much. <laughs> uh, we are going to move on with the show. Now. Yes, time for the show. Yeah, time to get on with the real nitty gritty mm-hmm. people. Buckle your seatbelts. That's right. You're about to go on a journey with some professional bullshitters. That's right. Might not be a longer journey as it usually is on any other mm-hmm. day, but today we're mm-hmm. going to move so fast that you better hang on. That's right. Duct tape your head to the chair and get ready. Bullshit is going to be hitting you all in the face. We're moving Full so fast. throttle action excitement. All right, people. In addition to what we talked about earlier on, that's going to be on the show, we're also going to get to your emails and talk about you some. Mm-hmm. So with that said, 
co-host, I'm ready, man. I'm fucking ready. You ready? I know you're ready. I'm ready. If you ready, I'm it's, ready, man. Hey, was well, Goatsy oh, fucking ready over here? Oh, no. Oh, no, look at he's over there eating the fucking, hamburger, man. Look at the what we just tell you, messing man. Messing around with his electric twanger. <laughs> Goatsy, man. man good, come damn, on, man. What, what happened to you eating your own milk, man? You, you, you sit up here eating this grease ass. See, look at him. Got like four slices of meat <laughs> with a little bit of cabrito in between. <laughs> <laughs> He has a glass of milk with a goddamn Go- dough with a donut wedged on the top of the glass like it's a, it's a piece of uh, lemon. With, go- with, with goat meat in the middle yeah. of it. Man, goddamn, you not only are you crazy, but you're a cannibal, man. Put, put that shit down. Go eat some vegetables. But before you do that, right. get ready. Coach, are you ready? That's right. Get ready I'm to eat the, your you- vegetables, Goatsy. Come on. All right. Goatsy's ready. He got a carrot now. No, he's ready. I'm ready. Oh, oh, hey, wait, don't put that in your ass. I'm ready. Goatsy's ready. You ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Going to, going to yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, that man. You nasty mother Okay, you get out of here with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. What you been teaching this? <laughs> 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 I can't even teach him not to shit on the fucking carpet when he's walking in here, man. This ain't no parade. What are you doing? He's a good role model. <laughs> Co-host, come on. Teach him a good uh, diet. He ain't looking teach at me. To, <laughs> teach him not to stick vegetables up his ass. I mean, uh, come I'll on, I'll have man. to have him talk to uh, Cyrus about that. <laughs> Where do you think he learned it from? <laughs> vegetable erotica, I guess. Sorry, he gets so hungry. He thought he used to eat a hamburger with his mouth and trying to eat uh, vegetables with his ass, sticking the carrots up his ass and everything. Damn, boy. A piece of lettuce fed as a hat. I don't get that. <laughs> I, I hope Cyrus never listens to these. Guys. <laughs> he just messed he with that guy so bad. Nah. Oh, man. I love All fucking right. with that kid. I know. Anyway. I know. Why is it so funny? <laughs> He's, he's the sweetest guy in the world, and we mess with him like a homo. <laughs> you a hamburger pig. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got going on here today, Corey. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about the <laughs> the film that you brought in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, because let me and let me set yeah, yeah. it up right here. Uh, there's been a lot of success. Now, not everything has been a success, and not a, there's not a lot of these things out. Out there, and what I'm talking about are the shaky can, right? Mock, mockumentary, documentary, whatever. Film. Yeah, I'm still wondering if they've even like categorized that yet, as far as giving it an official title, as far as like first person film. I guess I don't know. Well, there's been a lot of successful movies out there that do mm-hmm. the shaky cam right. technique. What the probably probably the most small budget success story is the Blair, Blair Witch, yeah, yeah, which is a huge success, yeah, yes. And then we moved on to. Was there anything in between that? No, um, I know. Then we had a big budget success mm-hmm. with Cloverfield. Right, right. Cloverfield, yeah, popped up. Um, Overseas, we had Wreck. Wreck, yeah. Wreck was right after that. And uh, I'm sure Wreck 2 is going to yeah. go nuts over that one. I really that, like Wreck 2, man. People don't, uh-huh. don't, don't, the people have been getting on my case about oh, really? I like Wreck 2. Oh, my, yeah. I love the movie. Don't and these don't. are people who've seen the movie? They, uh, they've been jumping on you about it? Be, no. They haven't even oh, seen the movie. really? Just oh, like, well, then they don't count. Yeah. yeah but. So there was Wreck, Wreck 2. Right. Uh, so it's been done in a lot of ways. I, I named the Supernatural, but we've mm-hmm. had it done. We have, we've had it done with a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, with the Blair Witch Project, yeah. it was uh, the ghost of a witch. Mm-hmm. Cloverfield was sort of like a giant monster movie like Godzilla. It was a Godzilla film, city. yeah, but, yeah. but done then, with first person. Done yeah. with first person. Then we had Wreck with first person, which is a zombie movie. Right. Mm-hmm. Second one, I'm not going to give anything away, yeah, yeah. but that could be something else. Right. And then we had another zombie movie with Shaun mm-hmm. of the I mean, not Shaun of the Dead, but uh, Diary of the Dead. Diary of the Dead, yeah. And now there's some things out there that people didn't. Oh, oh and now, what am I talking about? Yeah. Paranormal activity. Paranormal activity which right has now. Which gone on to be is, a big success. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but I keep reading. Every, it's like every weekend, the, the, the movie's making more and more money, but it's still in a limited release. Um, it got a wider release. The movie is officially a success story now. Mm-hmm. It was number four in the box office last week. Okay. And it brought in, I believe, $7 million. Oh, wow. So okay, it, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe so. it's between seven and four. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I know it's just been getting like uh, humongous word of mouth only because I think, uh, you know, people are talking about this film. Uh, and I think it more has to do with just how hard it is to see this film. You know, I think a lot of people are really like gearing up to, you know, just anxious to see it because. They hear stories about people who've seen it, who've enjoyed the fuck out of it. Mm-hmm. And the other fact is that, yeah, it's hard to get 